Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is July the 18th, 2024. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger mm -hmm. online. Now, Polymarket, the platform, uh, is not available to U.S. residents. You can look at the lines on Polymarket, but you can't bet on them. If you're in a jurisdiction where you are lucky enough to be able to bet on lines, just understand you're already up big on the suggestion I made just a couple of days ago on whether or not Joe Biden was going to step down from being a candidate for another term. Right? You're up big. You don't even have to wait for that to happen. You can sell out your position and you would be up more than 20%. Well, there's another bet. Understand, we're not being normative. I'm not talking about what should happen. We're just being descriptive. I'm talking about what I believe will happen. Right? They're giving Kamala Harris a 63% chance to be the Democratic nominee the bet I like is for the rest of the field. Believe it or not, they're only giving the rest of the field a 16% chance to be the next nominee. Now let's not get caught up in questions about who should be the nominee, right? We're not being partisans here, we're being gamblers here, right? The question is in an open convention where you have a lot of different allies of different people, where the party's support bases are split, where you understand that Nancy Pelosi is actually in the same family as Gavin Newsom, right? Where you understand that longtime allies, you know, will support each other if there is an opportunity to become the Democratic nominee. And where you also recognize that Kamala Harris was not a senator for that long, just like J.D. Vance was not a senator for that long, right, uh, before she was picked to be vice president of the United States, just like you would have questions if the GOP was headed into an open convention. Something happened to Trump. J.D. Vance's name was in the hat, but you understood. He didn't have the track record of, let's say, some other people in the party. He didn't have the years of building alliances and allegiances that others in the party would have. Let's look closely at the Democrats here. Hillary has a new book out. Gavin Newsom, a governor, is visiting a lot of states. Clearly, there are people out there who are well positioned right now, have introduced themselves to the American public. Didn't Gavin Newsom debate Ron DeSantis, who was an actual candidate for president of the United States? So when you're hearing that a market is only giving the rest of the field a less than 20% chance, that's an opportunity. Understand, it's high risk. You see the words in the background here, it's high risk. But also, if Kamala Harris does not win this by acclamation, in other words, if on the opening day of the Democratic Convention there isn't already a consensus in place that makes her the runaway favorite, expect a lot of ballots, expect a lot of surprises, expect a lot of prominent people endorsing different folks. Right? In that kind of environment, the odds you're getting right now on the rest of the field are compelling. Give it a look. It's on Poly Market. They're giving the rest of the field 16% to win the Democratic nomination. Right? I believe the rest of the field has a substantially better than 16% chance to win the Democratic nomination nomination right understand there are many who have looked back through history and who have realized that vice presidents aren't automatic picks
to win the presidency, right? Walter Mondale did not, Al Gore did not, needless to say, Dan Quayle did not, right? Mike Pence ran this year, he did not. I know there's an alternative universe out there that feels that the vice president is well positioned. I'm just telling you the data does not support that opinion. Let me hear from you in the comment section of this YouTube video. The field at 16% to win the Democratic nomination versus Kamala Harris, I believe is a compelling bet. Those are my views. Let me hear yours. Thanks for stopping by.